What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Dravid, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walk through the 2022-2023 edition, probably? Who knows? Alrighty, so, in our last episode, we went through Route 38 and 39 just to feed a mill tank a few, and I mean, a few berries, and, wow, he took, wow, he took six berries? Seven? I don't know, how many berries did I have? Holy crud, okay, so, yeah, fed a... Fed a mill tank, some berries, and now here we are in Olivine City. Now, the only problem is that, you know, there's no gym leader. And apparently it's at the, or she's at the lighthouse. Thanks to, you know, Silver, you know, unknowingly helping us. But before we go over there, let's go right ahead and grab some stuff right here. Because, yeah, we kind of need some stuff. Uh, I think if you talk to this guy, ha, your Pokemon looks sure look light with, like, lightweights. They don't have the power to move boulders aside. Here, use this and teach them strength. Bam. Okay, so we got the HMO4 on the sea. The only thing you can count on is uh, your own self. I'm so proud of my buff bod. Okay, what kind of buff bod is it? And let's see, whenever I roll into the town, I always visit the Elevine Cafe. Cafe. Everything on the menu makes me feel stronger. I can't stop eating. That is gluttony. Anywho, uh, yeah, so this is Olivine City. Now, if you're playing Pokemon Crystal, you will eventually find the Battle Tower, which is up ahead right here. Here we are, Route 40. We're not going to be battling anybody, but there is a new section into the Gold, Silver, Crystal series, and that is the Battle Tower, where... It, it, it's pretty much like the start of the battle frontier and everything. Things that I, you know, good old Draven won't touch because, well, it's not, it's not because he's afraid. It's just because, no, no, screw that. But if you guys want to see what the battle tower is all about, uh, the link will be on the description right here. And it comes from our good old buddy, Leroy. I wonder what he's doing nowadays. Um, yeah, he actually did a Pokemon Crystal walkthrough about a year or two ago. And he finished it off with uh, the battle, the battle tower. And he actually did a darn good job of it. And you know, kind of, it kind of inspires me. Kind of doesn't inspire me to go in there and uh, take it on for myself because, well, yeah, you have to be certain levels to do all that stuff. So if you guys want to take a look, what what happens? The link's on the description. Shout out to Leroy. Whatever it is that you're doing, buddy, I hope you're uh, hope you're living your best life and all that stuff. Thank you for all the walkthroughs. Anywho, moving on. We're not gonna battle that guy. Here we are back in Olivine City, and there is probably one big thing that we need to do, and that is going straight to the light tower. It doesn't really look like a light tower, it just looks like a big building. Yeah, you're going to be battling some trainers, you're going to try and find some Pokemon. Well, not some Pokemon, you're not going to find any Pokemon, you're just going to find people here. And, well, it's a good time to start training your Pokemon right here. I got like maybe two or three guys. They could uh, grow to the level 30s, and well, since we got ourselves the HMO4 strength, I probably should teach it to somebody that probably needs it. Like, I have like four Pokemon that could... Yeah, yeah, I got five Pokemon. They could learn this move. Um, we're gonna go with uh, Fluff Bolt right here. Mainly because it needs a better move than Tackle, so... And I was thinking of using, uh, I was thinking of using Headbutt, but, you know, we already got a Pokemon with that. And, well, we got Whirlpool. That's another move that, you know, could be useful. Uh, Thief. Hmm. Thief could be useful, too, but I... The only way Thief can actually work with, uh, well, the only way it works is if your Pokemon is not holding an item. So, yeah, that's probably not gonna be... Yeah, that's probably something that I, I, I'm not going to be doing right here. So, let's go right ahead and start battling people. Take a look. Hmm. This is no place for playing. Wow, I can hear my voice. Wow, my, my, my headphones finally work better. Huh. Anywho, here we go. Gentleman Alfred, not from Batman, coming out with a knockdown. And that Noctua is at level 20, so just, uh, yeah, keep in mind that, yeah, you're going to have to start battling some Pokemon right here. So, let's go straight for Metrodome. Come on! Poison gas, that's right. Fart attack. Okay. Smell the noxious gases. And well, this guy is gonna be using a foresight, but look at this. You're hurt by the poison. Time to be a little more strategic. Let's go straight for a sweet kiss. There you go. Now you're both now you're both poisoned and, confu and confused. And well, there's a peg attack. Alright, hurt by the poison. 
Wish it was uh, toxic, but no, it's not. So here go metronome. Let's get it. And here comes a fire blast attack. Finally, another great move. Hmm. And oh, nearly defeats this guy, but it actually gives us a little bit more of an opening right here, just to beat it right there. Then, and that doesn't beat him. Let's go with the swift attack. And that right there takes care of this individual right here. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. And, well, Serpentera mooching off uh, Togepi. And, well, there we go. Defeated Alfred. Ah, I can see you're serious. Yes, I am very, very serious. Okay, let's move on right here. And, uh, crap, Askus, I forgot to change my Pokemon. Well, men of the sea are always spoiling for a good fight. Well, men of the sea are also called seamen. Just let that let, 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 let that sit in just a little bit. And well, look at this. A polywag coming out. Here comes uh, Togepi. Now, let's see. Let's go straight for a metronome. Let's gamble a little. And oh, crap, baskets. There comes a bubbly attack. And metronome, come on. Please, 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 please. Mirror move. Okay, so we're going to be doing the same move. We really need to teach you a better move, man. Come on. All right, let's go swift attack. And that swift attack will come in second because apparently Poliwag's a little faster than us. So here we go, swift attack for the win. There goes Poliwag. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty, Serpentera growing mooching levels. And Huey's coming out with a Poly World. So let's go with Fluff Bolt. Fluff Bolt, ready to do so. Looking like it's powering up, so let's go with a th let's go with Fluff Bolt right here. All right, Fluff Bolt. Use your Thunder Punch. And just like that. Bam. Probably we're just getting his butt kicked. It's okay. It's fine. It's fantastic. And Serpentera still mooching. Yes. And, well, oof. Yes, you lose. Anywho, I'm not going to talk to any of these guys right here. Because, they, yeah, I, I think one or two of these guys actually want your phone number. And I am going to switch up Pokemon because, yeah. Let's see. Let's go with Hera. Here it needs to get up to those levels too, including Lucky. And let's talk to this guy. Why are you here? Are you just going to gawk? I suggest that you leave. How about you look at this finger and you go do something with it? And well, here comes Theo, the bird keeper, and he's going to be coming out with his Pidgey. Okay, alrighty. So here comes Hera, the Thunder Dog. Or, nah, not the Thunder Dog, the evil dog right here. Okay, so a little bit of an update, guys. No, I did not run into any legendary dog around anywhere. A few episodes, we ran into Ente, especially off-screen, and I'm still looking into trying to find uh, Raikou, and yeah, that Pokemon's a little hard to do, especially especially using the speed button right here. And there goes that quick attack, but here comes a uh, burning chicken attack right here. Burning Chicken Attack does the trick, and well, look at this. We're boosting up our levels. Come on, you know you want to grow. And well, he's going to be coming out with a Pidgey, so let's just continue on right here, guys. You, you know there's different bird or flying type Pokemon around. I'm just saying. I'm always just saying. And well, here comes a an Ember Attack. And oh, nearly defeats him. Quick Attack hits us. Not so hard. So here comes Ember Attack. Burn this chicken to the ground. And there goes Pidgey. And that gets us to level 27. Say hello. And Serpentera still mooching. And look at that, level 28. Okay, so we're, we're working with something here. And, well, well, we got this guy coming out with these guys. And, well, let's go right ahead and just use uh, Lucky. Lucky the... the, the the what you might call it? What's your, what do you call this Pokemon? Oh yeah, uh, forgot his name. <laughs> I'm just playing Quagsire. There we go, and that defeats Pidgey. So say hello, level 26, and Serpentera, you know, still mooching. Now, some of you guys said that you know my team's a little slow. It kind of is. It kind of is just a little bit, but trust me, guys. We're going to get to a point where it's not going to be too slow. It's just going to be fun. It's going to be very, very fun. And look at that. Yes. 
Wow, 85 points for all of these Pokemon, man. You, 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 you need to just evolve these Pokemon. You know, at this point, you could have just had, like, five Pidgeotos, and it would have been awesome. But no, couldn't help me out. And, well, here we go. I travel the world tra to train my Pokemon. I wish to battle with you. All right, whatever you say, good sir. Let's go. So here we have Gentleman Preston. That's a very nice name. That's a fine name, I should say. And he's coming out with his Growlithe. So let's, it's, a ba it's the Battle of the Doggies. And, well, Battle of the Doggies. Let's go with a Smog Attack. And, yeah, that does not work. Great. We need better attacks. Let's go with the Bite Attack. And just like that, Growlithe has been defeated. And, bam. Okay, Serpentera, what's up? And let's see, he's gonna be coming out with another Growlithe, so let's go with a whoop or with Quagsire right here. And how you doing there? See you sound a little mean, but here comes the, the lucky attack, and lucky. Let's go with a surf. And just like that. Surf attack does the trick. Look at that. Okay, alright. Yeah, we're getting some points. Serpentera doesn't have to do much. <sighs> I must train some more. Yes, you should, but he does pay well, right? Okay, so moving on forward now. First, you, first is first. I would suggest grabbing the item down, like down below here before you enter that little black pit right there because, well, that's the entrance to the next place. And, well, let's see. Oh, there's a trainer there, and he does not turn around. Let's go with... No, wait. No, 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 no. Crap. A little quick to the trigger. Okay, so let's go straight for uh, Lucky or Chico right here. And let's see what this guy has to say. Jasmine must be worried sick about the Pokemon here. She wouldn't even smile these days. Hmm. Jasmine. Okay. So here we go. Taking on Sailor Kent. And Sailor Kent is coming out with a Krabby right here. All right, bring it on. Let's go. Razor Leaf attack. Time to get it to go. And there goes Krabby. And Krabby has been defeated. By the way, you can actually capture Krabby around here. And you can actually get a specific Pokemon for Krabby, which I probably will show later on. Maybe. I don't know. If you guys don't remember, Krabby is the H is an HM god too because it can learn quite a few HMs like Strength, Cut, Surf, Whirlpool, and I believe Waterfall is one of those things. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good uh, it's a pretty good move set if you don't want to learn anything else. And well, look at that, can't manage to smile either. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's see what we got. I think yeah, there's another entrance, and uh, yeah, this is probably yeah, this is probably the final floor. Grab yourself this, and you found yourself the TM-34. And let's see. What do we have here? TM-34 is swagger, causes confusion, but raises the attack of the uh, the opponent. Yeah, that's something that, you know, kind of don't want to do because, you know, you're kind of... Kind of giving them a disadvantage, but then an advantage at the same time. And it's like a 50-50 chance whether or not you're going to, you know, you're going to get hit or not. Lord, like, Lord, like, uh, it's like, God forbid, it, it's like, you know, a, a special or, like, a type disadvantage, because that right there would mess you up, and, well, here we go. Taking on Bird Keeper Dennis, and Dennis coming out with his Spiro. Alrighty, let's go. Flood Vault. Let's go with a Thunder Punch. Have yet to use the Strength Attack yet. And... Just like that, Spiro has been defeated. Come on, bring out Firo. I'm getting tired of looking at these uh, Spiros, and he is coming out with another Spiro. Okay, cool. Whatever, man. So here's Spiro. And let's let's go straight for that Thunder Punch right here. And just like that, we got another Spiro down. We got more Fluff Fult to go. And Serpentera still mooching off our Pokemon. And here we have a Fero finally. Okay, so look at this. By the way, ran into a Fero in the wild. Those are very good Pokemon I actually have. I have yet to evolve my Tornado too. Didn't I have a Tornado at the beginning of this walkthrough? I kind of did. 
Totally forgot about that Pokemon. And well, look at that. Dennis has been defeated. Okay, so let's see. I think there's maybe one more thing around here that you can actually get. And it's this. Look at that. Found ourselves a rare candy. Definitely an item that we need. And you can go right here in this pothole. And it will send you back to the, to the floor below you. And you can battle this girl right here. She's going to be like, Jasmine is the city's gym leader. I mean to bring her back with me. Nobody had a better get uh, nobody better get in my way. So this Jasmine character happens to be a very, very important uh, person. Connie wants to come out with her Meryl or Pika Blue. Look at that. Now I remember the conversations of Pika Blue. Back in the schoolyard, everybody's saying Pika Blue this, Pika Blue that. Hell, I think I've even seen like a fake card of, of Pika Blue, like in swap meets and stuff. And well, turned out to be Meryl because well, the Orange Islands. I think that uncovered that. And well, bam. Okay, so let's go through this pothole, and we're gonna be battling another trainer. Sailors are both kind and strong. How about you? I don't know. What do you guys think? Kind, strong? I don't know. Good comments only. Down below. And here comes a Poliwhirl. And let's see. Let's go Fluff Bolt. Let's see what we got. Let's go straight for a Thunder Punch. And just like that, Poliwhirl has been defeated. Yeah, buddy. And well, let's see. What else? Who is coming out? Terrell has been defeated. He's like, you are both kind and strong. Well, he said it, not me. All right, let's grab this item right here, and we found ourselves an ether. Very, very good item. I think I deposited my previous ethers, and well, look at that. Moving on forward, we got one more trainer, hopefully. And let's go right ahead and put Lucky ahead of us right here. And talk to this guy. I wanted to battle Jasmine, but she's not up to it for right, uh, not up to it now. So how about you? Maybe. It's not like I don't have a choice. So, here we go. Sailor Ernest wants to battle, and he's going to be coming out with a Machop. I keep on saying I need a, I need a fighting type, but I never get that. All right, fighting type. Time to, well, I don't really have a move to beat it like that, except for Surf here. And there we go. Surf does the trick. How about that? How about that? All righty, okay. Serpentera, still mooching. And he's coming out with another Machop. So, let's see. Crud, I really wish... Yeah, I really wish I could say I have the Pokemon for this, but not really. I have to wait until, like, the end of the next place. I keep on forgetting. Yeah, I keep on forgetting the name. I don't care. I'm getting old. And look at that. Surf Attack does the trick. How about that? And Serpentera still mooching. And, well, he's gonna be coming out with a Poliwhirl. Let's go with Chico right here. Chico, how's it going? Hey, Chico. So, here we go, Poliwhirl. How you doing? Level 18. Here's Chico and Chico. Let's go with a Razor Leaf attack. And that right there does the trick. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Alrighty. And, yes. Still mooching. And, look at that. Serpentera at level... 29 so yeah we're, we're we're putting in some work and he's like you're something yes i am okay grab this item found ourselves a super repel that could be useful for our little adventure after this and here we are guys in the final part of the lighthouse and before we do anything i want to see no there's no no items right here oh crud i forgot about that so before we talk to her let's go right here Grab this, found ourselves a super potion. I wonder if we can find a super de duper potion. Now, if you talk to Jasmine, she's gonna be like, This Pokemon always kept the sea lit at night, but it suddenly got sick. It's gasping for air. I understand that there is a wonderful pharmacy in Cyanwood. That's what it's named. Wow, I keep on forgetting the names. But that's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. May I, may I ask you uh, to get some medicine for me, please? Sure. And Arnie, seriously? 
Uh, yes, I am awake. Yes, caught me. Yanma. Da 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 da. Okay, so Route 35, there's a lot of Yanma. Uh, thanks for letting me know. Nobody cares. Okay, so that is that. And talk to this little Amphi right here. Hello! Its breathing is terribly labored. Okay, so that is all you need to do, guys. Reach the end. And now you're going to be set sitting on your next adventure right there. And the shortcut is right here on these little potholes. And that right there leaves us in the very, very first floor. I'm back, baby. Okay, so that right there is... Uh, I think, I, I think I've covered everything right there. So before we finish off our episode, there is a house here. I don't know which one it was. There he is. Okay, you talk to him. Okay, so this guy will take a Krabby for his Voltorb. If you guys need a Voltorb or something like that, this is the guy to go. And I think it's in this, this room right here. Mm, whenever I get trouble, Daddy always scares me. Hmm. Let's see, along the way, so I would there, there are four deserted islands, bad kids are taken in, the islands of punishment. Okay, yeah, I thought, I thought that you would, get, you would get the rod right here. Hmm, there's somebody here gives you a rod. You need to find a rod. See you, sweet, sunset's uh, marvelous. Blow me down, okay, so let's see, uh, oh, this house. Talk to this guy, he's like, Olivine, Olivine is on the sea. And if it's on the sea, there are bound to be fish. I've fished here for 30 years. Would you like to face the sea and the, the fish? Sure. And here we have a new angler, and yes, we get ourselves a good rod. Okay, so we got our good rod. This will actually help us find that crabby. And from a few episodes ago, actually help you find those Gyarados that, you know, were running rampant, supposedly, or something like that. Anywho, thank you guys again for watching. It's this is the conclusion of this episode. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, links are in the description. Press that heart button right there. If you guys want to be a member of this channel right here and want to watch exclusive videos that I will be posting up for members only, sign up to the channel. It's right there. You'll get exclusive stuff. You know, come on, be cool. Anywho, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.